This is the opportunity, guys. Is Alex here, by the way? I, I haven't seen him. Okay, I see Alex. There we go. Today, I'm going to start kind of like a diet. My diet has been so freaking bad. That's because I, I used the quarantine as an excuse because I couldn't go out. I was forced to work every day, which I enjoy anyways. And so eating became my only fun. <laughs> so today I'm going to start some, I'm going to go back to my salads and start eating right, man. It's about time because when they unlock, I don't want to be 500 pounds. I want to be ready. I want my mind. So, which leads us to this. Okay, before we get to the topic, well, let's do a couple of house cleaning items. Um, we are... Well, now that the holiday's over, we forgot, but dude, MIC's only been around for two years, less than two years. Our anniversary is coming up on August 17th. And every, every birthday of MIC, the anniversary of MIC, we throw a huge event. Last year we had one in Philadelphia, and it was, it was amazing, it was huge. You know, we threw it and it was completely free for, we, we spent like six figures, guys. For free, we we let the members come in. If you are MIC, you you could have attended last year for free. And so this year, unfortunately, the pandemic happened, and we can't do that. So we are now moving into virtual. So everybody's starting to do the Zoom calls and stuff. I don't know the exact platform we're gonna do. Probably gonna be Zoom. It's gonna be August 17th, guys. We're still working on the agenda. The moderators are so kind right now. They've been working for the past month on the curriculum. And we said it already, man. It's gonna be free for annuals and lifetimes. And if you are not a member yet, you should definitely join because this is gonna be a spectacular big, big event, man. There's gonna be a live trading. There's gonna be a bunch of stuff. So this is not one of those seminars where you join and they're trying to sell you shit. If, if you guys have been there last year and the year before, you know as we actually teach you what to do. You, there's live trading and all that stuff. None of this bullshit sales marketing crap. So that's gonna be August 17th, guys. Around that time, we are gonna announce it when it's ready. But in the meantime, we have this Jumpstart Accelerator course that it's included. We used to be, I guess the sale ended, so if you missed it, I'm sorry. It's now available for sale, guys. So anybody, if you guys are interested, hit up Tosh. But this is going to reduce your learning curve tremendously, okay? Jumpstart Accelerator. We, uh, we don't have any sales at the moment, but you know, you never know, man. The guys are attending IG Live today. Hit up Tosh, guys. We, uh, Tosh is going to work with you on some promos, unadvertised promos, just for the guys that are attending today. So for the guys that are attending today, you know, hit up Tosh. Okay. Anyways, okay, let's start. So what the hell happened today? So this is very indicative of, of a normal trading day for many, many people sometimes. Like last night I couldn't sleep at all. Uh, so I didn't sleep till late. It's been two days like that. Because over the weekend I was like used to staying up late, right? So my body didn't acclimate myself back. So I woke up late today by an hour and I'm freaking out. The alarm went off and I just knows it. And then I'm like, dude, so I'm jumping out of bed. And this was before five. So you imagine me waking up at 4.58 a.m. And that to me is considered late. Okay, who the hell wakes up at 4.58 panicking? And it's still late because I usually wake up at 3.48. Yeah, 3.48 Pacific time, which is... Uh, I mean, I'm not in the East Coast, so it's really tough for me to wake up at 2 a.m., okay? Alex does that, so we actually have members staggered across the, the globe. So Alex wakes up early. He handles the room really early. And so we, we, we have, it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's not, it's by chance, it's not on purpose where, so I'm up until like 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, helping members at night, mind you, helping members in MIC. Alex is already long gone to bed, but he's up at my time, 2 a.m., 5 a.m. his time. So, you know, th this is a sort of passion, dedication that we give to our members because we truly love this stuff, dude. You, you have to truly love this. You know, it's like money is not enough, seriously. I mean, don't, the, the amount of stress 
you know, that we go through and the amount of hours we work for a guy like myself, it's, it's, it's like, dude, I'd rather just be home. <laughs> Trading my own account, I'll be good. But, uh, but with that in mind, okay. So I already woke up late, guys. I woke up late. I'm panicking. Because that what happened. So the first step is this. You have to realize that everything's about routine. It, a good golfer, a good sports person, it's all routine. They go to practice. They go. If they deviate from their routine, they're screwed up. So today, the first time was I deviated from my process. I woke up late. I couldn't locate the things I located. So what today I did was I limited myself to a handful of stocks, which is less than I usually do because I was not prepared. So I chose the top maybe five stocks I really like. I actually located seven stocks today, which normally I locate 10 and maybe I pick some, but today I, I limited it down. And additionally, I sized down today. I made sure that, you know what, man? I'm not prepared. I don't want to play the catch-up game. I don't want to screw up because there, there was a lot of stocks today. I'm like, okay, I'm going to size down and give it more range because it's been these stocks have been ranging more than normal. Which stocks did you like? Uh, I'll post it on Twitter later, all the stocks I traded. But um, I post all my plays in the room. Alex does as well. Um, so what I did was, you know, what? I stuck to the basics. I was like, shit, man, I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm going to avoid the hot chicks of the day. I am going to stick to my process. And so I calmed down because I mean, I'm a very nervous wreck guy, right? If I wake up late, I deviate, I'm, I'm pissed off. I didn't get the locates I wanted for the price I wanted. I'm playing catch up. And so what I did was I stuck back to basics. I'm like, you know what? Calm down. You know, I, I went back to my routine as quickly as I can, which included me going to, you know, like me going to get some tea, stuff like that, you know, just to calm me down. I drink tea each morning, which gives me a little boost of caffeine, but it's, it's basically, it's like a golfer, right? You get into the motion, you shake your butt, you do your pre-routine warm up, and then you hit the ball. And that's exactly what happened. So today, when the market opened, I had my orders out, my fantasy orders, and it just all clicked. By the time the market opened, I didn't even have to think about the process because I did the process so many times that it became a reflex. And if you recall my old time followers on Twitter, I always say you have to get to the point where you're trading like a reflex. When someone throws a ball at your face, do you think, what should I do? Should I do nothing? Get hit by the ball to my face? Do I move right? Do, do I move left? Do you even think about it? No, you do not think. You just act as if it's a reflex. As if you someone hits you on the knee and your knee jerks up. And that's what I call trading like a reflex. You want to keep training yourself just like a professional athlete. We are a professional athlete. We are a mental professional athlete. We train ourselves to the point where we don't even have to think anymore, guys. It's all instinctive instinctual like a reflex i hope you guys understand what i'm talking about so you're never going to hear this anywhere else because i you know i i realized over the years if i'm thinking constantly thinking while i'm trading it means i'm overthinking i'm becoming nervous i'm going to psych myself out i'm going to be fearful all these what if what if all that should have been gone by the time you trade because you should have done pre-market planning pre-plan your trades you need to know exactly what the hell you're going to do before it gets there. Because by the time it gets there, you are going to be a deer in the headlights if you have not already planned out that scenario. You need to plan out every single scenario so that, of course, you can't plan every scenario, but as much as you can, it's, you have to be well prepared. It's like, I'll give you an example. You, NFL games, they have the entire week to do practice. So that they can play one game on Sunday. You don't think they've done their research? That they've looked at film? They've watched hours and hours of film? That they've practiced out their routine? Their plays? That every scenario, if the team lined up like this defense, I would do this offense, vice versa, things like that. They've planned out every scenario. And so when the time comes, they just need to look. And they already know what they need, they need to do. And the routes that they're running, the plays they're doing, it's like a reflex. They don't have to think about it because they've practiced it a thousand times every week. 
It's just like trading, guys. You have to get to that mode. In order for you to become a consistently profitable trader, you know, you need to get to the point where you've done this so many times in practice that you are comfortable with doing it live. And I'm telling you, a lot of these guys that are learning to trade, they are too impatient. They want to get, they, they just want to play the game right away. Even Tom Brady does not play the game every day. He's practicing the entire week. He's practicing during the summer. His days off, he's practicing. Right now, he's practicing. Just so that when the game day comes, he's prepared. And that's why he's the fucking GOAT. He's 40-something years old. Trading foot, playing football like a reflex. When the opportunity comes, he knows exactly what to do. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Too many traders are trying to just wing it. Winging it means just making shit randomly on the fly. You cannot do that. You, if you do that, you get lucky. But luck runs out eventually. If you're well prepared, you make your own luck, guys. I got hell lucky today. I got lucky yesterday. I got lucky the day before. I've been getting lucky pretty much all my life because I pre-planned. And then when I lose, if I don't plan, I call, oh, that's bad luck. No shit, because you didn't plan it. Does it make sense, guys? You, I want you guys to go back and study paper trade. I paper trade every day, guys. You know how I paper trade? I look at the stock. I don't have to be in the stock. I am imagining the scenarios. I'm trying to predict in my head every single day. Even when I'm not trading, I'm looking at the chart to say, did it bounce off this line? Did it reject off this line? Did it fake me out this line? So I'm playing these scenarios in my head just like Tom Brady is trying to do. Of course, I'm not as good as Tom Brady, but shit, man. My point is, if, if, I, am, if I am not that disciplined of a trader, but I still pretty much make money <laughs> pretty much every day, knock on wood, you can too. You, you have something I don't. You have a mentor. You have a poor program, MIC. You have a course. That teaches you all the mistakes that I had to learn on my own. I have a ton of bad, bad, bad habits, dude. And, and sometimes I have to consciously remind myself, don't fucking do this. Walk away. Stop over trading. Stop adding to a loss. Use a stop loss. Things like that. But if you start out and being coached the right way, just like the Patriots, man. Being coached by Bill Belichick, who's been running this system for two, three decades. I mean, dude, you already stepped up again. You've got further than I did. Look at all the people that joined that are successful. They became successful much sooner than I did. The moment they joined, like Faye, Vic, Tom Diesel, James, I get, the list can go on and on. They, they, their trading has changed significantly for the better. Because, you know what, man? They don't have to go through the trial and error. Imagine doing the same Thing, bad habit for years. You know how hard it is to unwind, untrain yourself from a bad habit? It's very difficult. So do not start bad habits to begin with. And I keep telling everybody, man, I had this discussion with a member yesterday. We're talking about other, we're talking about like, oh, this guy's making so much money. I'm like, dude, but, but he's breaking every single fucking rule to do it. And you are as a new new trader learning is not going to be able to be an experienced person to recover from $30,000 losses. You don't have the bankroll to do that. So you need to be able to take the fucking loss before it turns into a $30,000 loss. I never want to be in the position where I'm down so much money and then I have to revenge trade to make it back and then I'm bragging to the world how good of a trader I am because you know what man, I tripled up my size, I revenge trade, I'm the fucking best. I got, I dig myself out of the hole. You should not be in that position to begin with. A good trader would never be in that position. Once in a while he gets it, I'd rather see people take a loss. I'd rather take a $30,000 loss than try to revenge trade and either lose a hundred grand or break even. You just have to be able to eat their losses. And I'm telling you, I keep saying it all the time. The perfect example is Alex. He trades one hour a day. One hour a day. He does a revenge trade. Today, he lost $700. Yesterday, he made $5,000. The previous month, he made like $600,000. You see what happens? It's not about being... It's not about like having to close green every day, guys. 
It's about taking advantage of the situation. And then, yo, know, risk management is the reason why you can survive in the long run. Don't think it's how much you make. It's a combination of how much you make, but more importantly, how much you do not lose. It doesn't matter if you have a 100-day winning streak and then you and then you get stuck in a position on the 101st day and you're like, I don't want to end the streak. I'm going to fucking use the cushion game because I'm up a million dollars. Next you know, I've seen guys fucking blow up their entire account. Guys have been up a million dollars lose a million dollars the next day. It fucking happens, guys. I've seen it over and over. And the reason they can recover because you know, they've, they've been trading a long time. That's how they make all that money. But as a new trader, I want to train you guys the right way, guys. And, and so that's what I mean by training like reflex. Training like reflex where you're able to take the loss without even thinking about it. Because the moment you think about it, you're going to be nervous, dude. Who the fuck wants to take a $2,000 loss? Who the hell wants to take a $5,000 loss? Who the hell wants to take a $10,000 loss? I don't even want to take a $100 loss, guys. But I have to. If it's part of my reflex where I, where I know I'm wrong and the stock starts to break above the line that I thought it's going to reject off, I have to take the stop loss. Does that make sense? Keep practicing. You need to keep practicing. It, it's very difficult, guys, to be able to take a loss. Okay? But a good boxer needs to be able to take a, lo- uh, take a hit in the face and realize, oh, shit, didn't really hurt me. You know, sure, it may knock me out, but that's part of the game, guys. I don't want to get to the point where I'm knocked out. But if I'm knocked out, it's cool. I have systems in place where it's going to save me, such as the max daily loss rule. If I broke every single fucking rule in the book today and added to a loser over and over, at least I have what I call it an emergency, 911 ambulance, which is the broker side max daily loss limit. Call up your broker, such as Cobra. They will set your daily loss limit. And even if you get drunk and stupid one day, and break every single rule. At least it will not make you go broke. If you have a $35,000 account, for instance, set maybe a $5,000 max daily loss. Whatever you want. At least you still be alive. Or $2,000. It's up to you what it is. But do not ever take that fence off. It's like what we always say, a seatbelt. It's a fucking seatbelt. It's an airbag. Sure, it fucking hurts when the fucking airbag gets deployed to your face. But I'd rather have bruises on my face than to have my fucking brain spilled out on the dashboard. And this is the thing people don't understand. We talk about this all the time, guys. It's not how you made, it's not how much you make. It's how you made the money. That's the most important thing in life, guys. Okay? You can cheat and steal, make money, I don't give a damn. That's not gonna be sustainable. You break the rules, that's not gonna be sustainable. I'd rather see, just think about this. To make a million dollars a year, you need to average $4,000 a day. <laughs> 4,000 bucks a day, guys, that's it. Okay, people think you need to swing $15,000 a day, 10,000, no, dude. No, dude, you don't need to do that. You just need to average, t- so to make half a million, 2,000 a day. 250 a year, 1,000, okay? You wanna make $100,000 a year? Dude, that's less than 500 bucks a day. So that's what you think about it, man. I, I have this on my Twitter. You guys can look at it, see for yourself. So people think you need to swing a lot of money to make $100,000 a year. No, dude. $100 a day, $200 a day. Keep at it. Keep at it. Some days you're going to make more. Some days you're going to make less. But the point is consistency over time is going to save you. Woo. All right. With that in mind, let's, uh, who wants to get on? I, I want to bring someone on and you guys can talk about your progress or what, you, what you're learning from. And then maybe, you know, and see if this conversation today helps you. Uh, just do a hand wave if you guys want to get on. I'm going to bring someone on and maybe help you. Or just if you have, it could be anybody, MIC guy, not MIC guy. All right, let me see. Zeely. I've never heard from Zeely, so let's see. Hey, how's it going, man? Oh man, you're like a Drake. You're like the Drake model. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my <laughs> side hustle. Like that's, that's my that, side that, that's, hustle. 
<laughs> that's your that's yeah. your famous Drake uh, red jacket. Hey man, <laughs> dude, I want to say it's a privilege to be on here. So tell everybody who you are, your name, where you're from, and all that good stuff. So, I put. Yeah, bro. I'm Z Ali. I'm from Scotland in uh, the UK. Wow, Scotland. Hey, hey, yeah. how about, that's a long ways away. Yes, bro. But it, the internet connects us like we're next door neighbors. Exactly. So, um, what what's going on? Are you MIC? You're learning what? Tell us your background, my friend. I'm MIC for life, bro. <laughs> oh, your name is Julian. We have a lot of members. I, I'm sorry about that. I didn't see you. It's all good, man. But listen, this is it. So I've been with MIC for about a year now, just over a year. And um, only last month, I decided to take the plunge and go uh, a lifetime. So because tell us your progress. The value so, of okay. what, uh, so tell bro, us your I was, So tell I was us the road, man. This is just, okay. Bro, this is it. So 2018, when the marijuana Canadian stocks, the Tilray and the Corona, uh, Corones and uh, G, uh, Canif, growth all that was going on I kind of got myself into trading I always wanted to trade but I never had the chance to I have my I still have all my businesses that used to run bars and restaurants so I ended up um, just deciding one day look I've had enough I've worked 20 years of my life running restaurants and bars and it's just like there must be more to life right so I did I just looked at trading uh, spoke to a few guys that have ideas of it and they've all said stay away from it and i was like no bro i want to find out what's going on everyone's like i spoke to this uh, uh bank manager guy a friend of the family and i was like dude you you obviously deal with high equity um clients what do they do in the stock market and he was like stay away it's a gamble and i was like <laughs> fuck that fuck that bro i'm getting involved i like a risk and i've always had a high risk tolerance uh, sort of approach to life um, and I was like nah so I started out hey I made a shitload of money at the start like it was mental I was like overwhelmed when I, when I first made profit in my first trade it was Facebook I made $300 in like an hour you're like quick easy <laughs> and then I was like what the fuck is going on like you know there's guys in the air uh, that Earn three hundred pounds. They earn three hundred pounds working the whole entire week after the taxes, and I'm like, I've just made that in an hour. So I was like, wow, there must be more to this than just. And then, bro, I just went, went the next day. I went and like funded my account like with tens of thousands of pounds, and I was like, this is it, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and you know, I did okay. I made like r good money because I didn't know what I was doing. And there was no risk management. There was nothing. Um, we're talking about gambling. You're gambling. Six, six figures. We're talking about 40, 50,000 pounds of trade profit. And I was like, I'm the boy. <laughs> and then, and then, <laughs> and then inevitably what happened was boom, massive loss, massive loss, <laughs> big loss. And I was like, so the other thing was my partner, my wife, she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. And then when I took the hit, stay away from it. I was like, what the fuck? Like, when I was making money, people were like, yeah, cool. And see, when I took that loss, everyone was like, get the fuck. You, you need to stop yeah, doing yeah, this. Yeah, all, 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 all of a sudden, they're like, I told you so, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, hey, look, I, I'm fucked up. You know, I, I put my hands up to it, but I need to find out why. I fucked up. So I went and did some soul searching. Um, and at that time, like, I knew of MIC and I was like, no, dude, like, I'm, I'm going to fuck this up. Like, I did well, but I know that I'm on the wrong path here because everything becomes, like, so more clear when you, when you start putting risk management and, and then I stopped. So anyway, joined my MIC, went through the videos. And I'll be honest with you, I was one of those lazy ones, like, couldn't be asked watching videos fell asleep halfway through a video just not concentrating and then man i just like just the constant you guys are telling us what the process is and following it and it was like yes let's do this so i eventually got myself a little routine a process on the go 
And um, the last couple of months been decent, consistent. But one thing I did wrong, and this is something I wanted to share with everyone, is my account, what I did, I, um, I got caught up in some trades. Instead of selling it at a loss, I kept hold of them because I had enough um, funds there to hold some positions. And I was like, you know what, fuck it, I fucked up, I'm going to hold it. So I was down like 20%, 30% in certain um, tickets, I was down like 40%. And I was like, fuck it, I can, I can like see, like, I can hold them for a long period of time. Three months, six months, whatever. And yesterday, yesterday, literally yesterday, what I did, I, I, I had a good, good trade. I made a, a decent amount of money, a couple of grand, and I was like, you know what, dude? Like, I'm just going to take everything off my portfolio. Like, just, I've just, I'm just, luckily I've not lost any money. I'm up, I'm still up, and I'm still happy that I'm up. But I just, I took like about £8,000 loss in that sort of um, portfolio, and I just cleared it all up. And it's, uh, look, I've got, look, I'll show you, I've got, a, I've got like a, no positions. No positions. How does it feel? Because. How does it feel? Oh, dude. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I messaged Harry Horst. I was like, dude, I need to speak to you. I need to speak to you. I need to speak to someone. Let them know that today I have started my trading career. Like today, I feel like this is me born again, ready to go. Like I did a couple of trades. I was out today with the family. I came back. I got a couple of scalps. There's nothing to be excited about, but I paid for my locates. Homo, I don't have that anymore. I mean, I, we all do. Yeah, this, this well, is I'm great. Working much. Really, this is awesome here because I'm, I'm going to tell you something. That's the best feeling is when you remove the chains, the weight from your back. Every day oh. you're looking at that shit, praying it affects your mind. Bro, this is exactly why I want to share with everyone this, right? I was doing well. I was like consistently making my two, three hundred dollars a day. It was, it was like life changing for me. It's like you know, I'm a businessman. I've always like sort of did my own thing. So I had all my own independence, but this is the next level of like, you know, you, you trade equity for freedom. And that's what it is, means for me. For me, it's like the, the time. Like I went out, spent the whole afternoon with the family, took them out for a nice day out and I'm back. I've made a bit of money. I probably will end up the, the, a couple of hundred pounds up on the day because I'm confident in what I'm doing now. But the, the reality is, is removing all that unnecessary fucking noise that I've got in my portfolio has made me mentally like so much more confident and so much more clear. And it's like, if you guys got stuff like that lurking and, and, and stopping you from moving forward, then like, just take it. That's exactly right, man. Uh, you're delaying over here, but I'm going to uh, comment. Well, you delayed. I didn't want to suffer through it, you know. If I if I took it all off earlier, it would have been a loss. I wouldn't have uh, been up in my account. I was down, so I had to make sure that the balance was right, and I didn't feel bad about taking the loss. So what I said to myself is like, I've taken a loss from my profits, so it's not really money that I invested initially. So for let me, me, let, me like, let me let me tell you, you got saved. Karma, you're a good guy. You've got blessed to be able to restart and up. Oh, <laughs> bro, I'm still up. I'm still up a couple of thousand from my initial, like, uh, you know. And that, for me, is, like, the biggest win. Is like, the, the mind, clear the, clear mind. It's, like, like, clear portfolio, clear mind. And it's, like, that, now, that now, I can do my, now I can do my max loss for the day. I can put my max loss, set my max loss, and know that today, if shit goes wrong, I've got my max loss set there for the day, and that's the worst case scenario. Now, every day is not going to be a winning day. We know that, but the thing is, every day is going to be a set, set losing day. You know what you're going to be set out to lose. Use your hard stop. It's something that I never used to use. Now it's like, as soon as my my um, my trade gets triggered, the first thing I do is boom, fuck it. Okay, take oh. a little big, bigger gap. I love this. I love you know, this. And it's like, dude. Like, the community is amazing. The guys are amazing. Like, everyone's good. And we all reach out. And I suppose some people like to stay quiet. That's quite cool. And at the end of the day, so, you know, it's everyone's different approach to the market. I'm, listen, anybody want to ever chat, just talk generally about trading, whatever. Like, I do fuck all. Like, my family, they're busy. They're enjoying themselves. They're 
away and stuff. Like when I'm trading, this is my job. So they know not to come and disturb me. So if anybody wants to like chat and share experiences, just like ZLE30, phone me. I'll talk. I'm like, hey, listen, I love talking. I like meeting new people. And um, dude, I'm, this is like day one for me now. Day one. I love it. I'll, I'll tell you what, Matt. I'm going to tell you what. This is the great mindset that not many people can do. I'm so glad that you are now free. Because you know what, man? You, during these positions, you are up day and night. Keep looking at the quotes every time you go oh, out. Like, dude, like how much down? It's not how much I'm up today. It's how much down am I going to be today? And it's like, <laughs> dude, it's like when you look back at the trades that you made and you're like, how the fuck did I like buy that high like why what what the <laughs> fuck was i thinking like it was zombie hour why am i buying zombie like you know and it's like for me because i've done it long enough now to understand what's 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 been stupid and what's been sort of um risk taken it's like dude don't be stupid like you know the money's there you'll get it but you just wait and it's and that's the hardest bit the fomo i think it's killing a lot of people it is the generally the market is mental like Yes. I've been doing it for a couple of years now. And like as an amateur, as a novice, and as a newbie, even me, uh, it's like madness, bro. The reclaims, uh, the, the, you know, the it's way crazy. It reversals. And it's like, dude, never used to happen. Never. Like once it's done, it was done. Once it's like, if it's, if it's a long position, it was a long position. Nobody sold. Everybody held. Yep. Kept them going two days, three days, and then some of them ran for a week, you know? Um, and now it's like, fuck, dude, like within 10 minutes, you're like, up, <laughs> down. Yep, so yep. Like you've got to adapt, yep. you've got to adjust. And I, I'm uh, telling you, man, I, I, I love this stress-free life where I'm not constantly checking my phone oh. every moment when I'm out. You know, dude, it's, 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 praying. it's all in there. It's all in the head, man. I tell you that, it fucks you up. It, Listen, I told you, I'll make like a thousand pounds or, or, or two thousand pounds on a specific day, right? Profit, good. From an account my size, that's a decent return, right? Now, I could have, I could have. Oops, it went lag. Let's wait for a ZA. His um, his Wi-Fi went his internet. Okay, yeah, yeah. So I was saying I could have made two thousand. Okay, so dollars. the last one thing we on, heard on was, the trade, but we, because of my yeah. uh, portfolio, like it, it completely like demotivates me. It completely like takes away the success of the trade. It just makes me feel like I've not done anything that you know. Although it was a successful trade. And I made a shitload of money. It was meant nothing to me because the the old B and R P and L is is fucking with my mindset. Yeah. Even though exactly. I'm still up technically, like technically I'm up. So, dude, that is one of the biggest like hurdles in my trading career that I've come overcome. And I'm hoping, like fingers crossed, everything goes to plan and I and I stick to my discipline. And um, basically, like I said, a new chapter, a new beginning. If I, if I make a profit on the day, it goes green. If it's a red, then it's controlled, and then that's it. Risk management, my friend. Now you understand. Risk management is very key. You know, you have to take the management oh. loss. I love it. Hard stop. Let me ask you this. How is the pandemic, the corona, affecting your area? You know, because, like, now if you had those bars, would they be shut okay. down? So I, I, I own a, a small nightclub in uh, the town. I live in a small town, 20,000 population. It's like a beautiful coastal village. It's spectacular. It's got like a, a very old castle and it's just, it, it's beautiful. It's amazing. It's a coastal village. It's where, it's, a, it's beautiful. But like my nightclub, I don't think I'll ever open it again in like in any time soon. Like it'll probably be by early next year before I even get to open it. Wow. Um, so like- So this like has been a blessing. Reason. So this is a great Bro, blessing. Right. Yeah, listen, every day I count my blessings for that because have I had not learned how to trade and have I not learned the process of MIC and the discipline that you guys, like, you know, hammer into us and, and, and keep on reminding us these hard stops, fucking process, zombie hour, all these key words, like, you know, um, are, you know, 
all these things everybody will sooner or later figure out it will just ring in their heads like boom 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 10 30 fucking no 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 short positions get the fuck out you know, <laughs> reversal time half past three three o'clock reversal let's just take advantage of that last uh, a few hours of trading and you know you you it's it's practice bro for me i've got to learn i've got so much to learn and so much more discipline to gain but it will all come in good time as long as i can take small steps because i'm not getting ahead of myself you know it's hard for someone to go from making 50 60,000 dollars a trade profit to making 500 dollars a day uh, a, a trade you know and that's where i fucked up initially is because you know it, i shouldn't have probably done that because it didn't doesn't help me in any way but i had to re so sort of reset myself in a big way because that that again that was kind of like fucking up with my ego it's like yo bro man like what 500 dollars like 550,000 dollars and it's like dude don't do shit like that don't be a dick you know what i mean be be humble be yourself and appreciate the fact that the blessing is there like you put in the graph the effort hard work you will get yeah. rewarded yeah people don't people don't disciplined. understand yep people don't understand to 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 swing up and down 50,000 you have to be ready to take a fifty thousand dollar loss, and right. I'm, you know, you imagine it was Mbev, it was Mbev, Mbev that I I made that big trade on, and it went it went up for three days, and the third day it just collapsed. And have I had not taken the profit, I would have been minus. And now, believe me, you, Netlist was a was a semiconductor stock about two thousand eighteen. I took. A twenty odd thousand dollars loss on that one. I was up thirty six thousand dollars on the day. I screenshotted the profits P and L to my wife, saying, "Look what I've done. I've managed to make a decent amount of profit today." She was like, "Take the money out, sell the shares, bro." The whole entire day, it was it went down a little bit. Yeah, so the greed kicked in. I was like, "It's gonna go back up." Right, <laughs> it was floating around the twenty-five thousand dollars profit mark the whole entire afternoon. Right, even zombie, never zombie, it just held. And then towards the the close of the the, the, the trading day, it plummeted to minus. From my account, from being thirty-six thousand um, dollars profit, it went to minus eighteen to twenty-two. It was hovering on that. I just looked at myself and thought, "What?" Yeah, man, I'm, I'm glad because you. I, this is the thing I tell people, man. It's good to learn this early on so that you get it out of your system. Oh. Now you're going to start the rest of your life. Because imagine if you learn oh. this later in your career. It, it could be very catastrophic, right? You could have lost right, your bro. entire it's, bankroll you worked your whole life. Bro, ego. Ego takes over, bro. But once you do well, the problem with the, our sort of mindset is when we are consistent and when we're making these large figures – the ego certain, some, certainly d does get in the way because you think, you know what, fuck it, I, you know. But the risk management is what's going to save everyone in this game, and it's it's proven by you guys that have been doing it for a long time. Is risk? Look, I mean, Alex's situation today, like, you know, the man's a rock star, but he did what he needed to do. He protected his back, and he just fucking moved on. Tomorrow's another day. Man's probably going to do a hundred thousand dollars tomorrow. <laughs> you know, it's, Alex, so it's like you, you can be a superstar, but even so, superstars uh, have days off. Hey, who, you know, who's your tab? Hey, Z, who's your tab? Uh, I'm a lone, lonely, lone, lonely person right now. Nobody wants to be my tab. Oh, you know what, man? After this interview, I'm pretty sure you're going to get a lot of messages, my friend. You're yeah. going to you're gonna have a ton of tab options because I think the tab is very important. You, you, you have a lot to, oh, to help people. And, and you, you know, as a human being, we need someone to talk about trades. So it's very good to have. So we'll make sure you get a tab this, this week. Oh, uh, bro, listen, that, that's what it's all about. Listen, I, I have reached one, out to one or two people. I do speak to a few people on, on the, um, the, the uh, chat room. But um, see, I, tr I think I tried to fill up the tab form, but I fucked up. I don't know what I did with it. But... Um, I'm I'm quite impatient when shit like that. I don't like write, filling up forms and shit like. That. I'm quite of a, uh, a lazy person when it comes to process, you know. But 
like if anybody wants someone to uh, listen i've got i haven't chose my bias yet because i started off long and now like all i've been doing for the past like month is shorting like and bro shorting is a lot more a lot more stress free than long and i can tell you that as long as you can go <laughs> your heart stops in the place yes so you know you don't have to pick a bias you there you know there's situations where it's, it's good dangerous long, and there's situations where it's good luck you you know you can be both I biased think, you know think, there's nothing wrong with trading both sides yeah 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 i think it's really hard to sort of go go find one because like especially if someone like me that stayed long dude i only could go long because my accounts were even was even margin accounts like i was so like naive to the situation like everything i bought was meant to have gone up and that's where i fucked up initially is not not knowing that you have to have a mark like this is how naive i was like i i opened like three different brokers um and basically every single one of them were uh, like cash accounts and i was like so i'm buying these pump and dumps and obviously getting caught up in every single one of them and i've got tens of thousands of dollars uh, stuck in like trades that have completely gone uh, like against me because like i like what the fuck everybody's buying why have they stopped so you know so then i realized hold on hold on dude this is an habit because we're in the uk it's limited to what brokers can like you know service you so t- trade zero is who i trade with i am considering the idea of um um cobra but right now trade zero seems to be working um for me at the moment i spoke to tom these and he was right like right now trade zero seems to be working for me uh, but when i'm ready for cobra i'll go for cobra because it is like the locates and all that that i can see the advantage of cobra is like you know i'm i'm i wake up early as in i i'm up like 3 4 in the morning when the markets you know because of the, our time differences so like i've got like 2 3 hours prior to the market even like pre market pre market you know uh, so like i can i can i can um, you know take advantage of that and get myself organized like as soon as like the 4 am bell like sort of activity starts like i'm already an hour in front of the computer you know what i mean so it's like you have a huge advantage like you already did your planning can, yep yeah so someone like cobra can, like i could go and get free shares you know take advantage of their um, you know mic loyalty sort of approach that they do you know get some free borrows get your data up you know um, progress seems okay it's like right now i've got to work towards that and that's no it's cuz we still we still learning every day Oh, long lag. Yeah, so it's all about learning, man. It's it takes forever, but the journey is amazing. Like I, I think, like we've got something to learn every day. The market is different every moment, and it's just like trying to understand it and and try to get in sync with it. It's it's just gonna take time. And like I said, I'm not in a rush, and I'm not telling myself like let's do this overnight because now your account's clear. You're you're the boy. No, no. I'm like you know what? This is your opportunity. to do it right. Well, thanks man. I appreciate this, this everything you uh, Hey, Zeli. Th- dude, awesome man. Thank you for letting me uh talk to you. Yo. This is a great Thank you for sharing your journey. This is that's been amazing, man. I love hearing this. Bro, absolutely, bro. <laughs> and uh we'll set you up on I appreciate uh, that and I appreciate everybody. We'll see you in the chat I room. Appreciate I appreciate everybody think on the MIC. And I will see you on the chat room. I think this thing about to die. Yeah, bro. <laughs> the max Thanks, Bye, guys. Man. And Thanks everybody, all the best for the rest of the day. Bye. We'll see you in the chat room, my friend. Take it easy, bro. Hey, Thank you very thanks, much. Man. All the best. All right, guys. I think uh, IG Live is in the max limit, so I will see you guys back online. Thanks for uh, attending. See you guys.